What's up guys, Baker here. Uh, today I got a tutorial, I think I'm going to call this the uh, Predator Missile Screen or something, but uh, basically what this is, is um, you open up a Pred Missile and it's got the screen and closes and that's it. So, pretty simple effect, I just want to show you guys the overall layout and how to kind of organize this and set this up, because it kind of gets a little, little weird, but um, yeah. So let's just jump right in. Let's uh, zoom in here. Close this out. So I got this clip, and he shoots a guy, and then he's got a Pred Missile, and he opens it up. And typically, it shows full screen, but I want this to be inside the Pred Missile laptop screen. So let's set this up. So we, we are going to go to the frame where we want it to uh, freeze. So somewhere over here, he opens it up, and go here look in so this is when it starts to fade to black which we don't want we want it to be the same you know color is uh, the entire clip so it's gonna be this frame yeah so what we're gonna do is um, command shift D to split or you can go to uh, uh, I don't know. somewhere over here there should be a split oh there it is split layer edit split layer so we split this so this frame right here is uh, this frame. Go for one more frame, split again, and on this middle uh, layer, let's uh, freeze frame it. So we can extend this, if I move this over, so it's the normal clip coming in, and then frozen, and then continues. So, so let's go until it is black, and um, right before it fades back on, let's see takes a while so maybe before the 150 comes up so let's uh, just trim that layer alt begin bracket and scoot this over for now and then let's go until he gets the kill so, here, boom. so somewhere around oh actually we go to the frame when this uh, pops back up so this one and one more split alright so this middle clip here it's pretty long, it's about uh, three, four seconds or something. So you can keep it that speed. I'm actually going to right click, time, time stretch, and just uh, decrease this a little bit, about 75%. So speeds it up a little bit, not too boring, you know. So once the um, laptop is open and frozen, we want this clip to start playing. So what we're going to do is instead of masking the uh, top clip here of this, we want to use a track mat. Now, if you haven't seen my track mat tutorial, um, that's okay. I'll just go through the steps anyway, but go ahead and check that out if you've never heard of track mats. So, we're going to uh, look at this frozen layer, turn your mat off so you don't see it, <clears throat> go to full res here, take your pen tool. And basically, just draw where the screen should show up. So I'm going to start this, and then I'm going to fast forward so you guys don't have to uh, watch me uh, rotoscope this and stuff. So, yeah, see you guys in like two seconds. Alright, I'm back. I just did a quick sloppy job, you know. So if I turn this map back on, we can see we have this white solid exactly where the screen is going to be. So, let's rename this to like the actual pred screen. We can rename this one to frozen. And this is the uh, beginning clip. Okay. So it's frozen right here. Let's also trim the matte layer to line up exactly with uh, the frozen part. And put the pred screen actually let's put this up there. Okay, so pred screen is right below the track mat and we're going to toggle your switch and mode until you see track mat here and we're going to use uh, alpha mat I think is it alpha mat? oh let's turn that back on yeah there we go so you can see <coughs> opens up and this clip inside only shows up where that white solid was so we can extend the frozen part until the end of this pred missile clip so it comes in now right when this ends, let's bring the uh, rest of the clip over 
so it'll just close off. Now they don't line up perfectly, that's okay. You can add a little bit of a twitch or something to kind of blend the layers together. But let's just clean up this uh, mask a little bit because I can still see a little bit of the uh, green part of the screen. Zoom in here. So it looks a little gross. So on the matte layer, MM, feather this maybe, I don't know, two pixels and expand it. Two pixels? No. Five pixels. Really want to get rid of that green. Looks kind of gross. So let's just scrub through here. Looks pretty good. So what's cool about using a track mat is this pred screen, I can move anywhere where I want. So that's cool. So I can scale this down if I wanted to to actually get pretty close to the size of the screen if you want to show more detail. The only weird thing is um, you can see two kill feeds now. So what I did is I just kept it 100%, you know, didn't move the layer or anything. But just know that you can move it, and that's, uh, that's kind of cool. It gives you a little bit more freedom. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It just goes forward and then uh, closes. That's cool. So pretty simple effect. I like it. I've used it a couple times. So now you can uh, add screens to your Predmissile laptop. Or, you know, you can uh, put any video you want, you know, maybe like a transition into the next clip. He's watching himself run around. I don't know. Whatever you want. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Be sure to like and favorite. Comment if you have any questions. Hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. If you make any cool edits using this effect, feel free to post them in the description or uh, in the comments or whatever. And yeah, that is it. All right, peace.